All right, we are back with another hat and a conversation about some yarn. Uh, this hat that I'm about to go into, this was the one that was featured in my fit and finish conversation. Um, I want to talk about this one next. So this is uh, Plymouth yarn. It's called Plymouth Select, and it's a worsted merino superwash. It's a 100% superwash fine merino. Uh, it is a worsted weight yarn. Uh, I get this locally here in town. There's a small little craft store right down the street. They sell all kinds of awesome stuff in there. They've been there for a long time. Um, a lot of my yarns actually come from there. Um, I try to locally source if possible, whether it's at the small little craft store at the end of my street, or maybe it's a local yard sale or um, you know, somebody selling something. Um, but yeah, I do plan on continuing to use Plymouth yarn and they have a couple of different lines. Uh, this one here specifically again is the Plymouth select. This stuff knit very smooth, uh, and made a, a fantastic product. So again, when I was shopping for yarn that day, it was kind of a gray day. Um, my process of shopping for yarn is pretty simple i mean i go straight to the yarn store and i pace back and forth the aisles um, and then whatever catches my eye i will actually go to the yarn and i'll touch it and i'll feel it and i'll try and picture what the end product would look like if it fails the the field test i'm not going to use it so it has to when i touch it it has to pass a specific level um, that I'm looking for of quality for me to even think about purchasing it. Uh, and every single one of the Plymouth yarns that I have felt or I've worked with, this stuff is super smooth and it's super soft. Um, I don't like itchy hats and I'm sure everybody else out there does not want an itchy feeling hat. Uh, with that said, I've had to write off a couple of brands that I, I used to use many years ago, um, but they've changed brands or somebody else bought them and it, it's just not the same it feels like fiberglass now and i'm, I'm done using it I'm, I'm not touching it ever again um so yeah this the color of this hat is uh it's gray it's like a heathered gray um and we'll talk about the fit and finish here do the 360 so everybody can see what it looks like. So just keep in mind that my model heads are smaller than an average person's head. So it's going to look really funky at times. Like the forehead isn't like an actual human's head and it'll fit a little bit different and it'll stretch out a little bit more. Um, all of my hats are stretchy. So when I make them, they're a, a little tighter than they should be. And I do that on purpose. Um, everyone knows that when you wear a hat, they start to wear in, they start to break in. And then eventually, you know, they fit fine. They're not snug at first, but, you know, as you wear them, as you wash them, it starts to get bigger and bigger and bigger. And the next thing you know, it just doesn't fit. So I, I size these a specific way so that on the first, maybe second wear, it's gonna be snug, but then it will eventually wear in to the point where it can't stretch anymore. And it's like just the right fit. So that's why they're like that. And I mean, you can always take them and you can stretch them out a little bit if needed. There's plenty, there's plenty of give and they stretch perfectly. Um, this hat here, again, the brim, all of my hats, unless specifically stated otherwise, come with at least a three inch brim so that you can wear it cuffed like this and they cover your whole ear or you can uncuff them and then wear them slightly slouchy or you can uncuff them roll up the cuff and wear it slouchy um, plenty of room for us people with big heads if you've got a lot of hair there's plenty of room in this um, we get a little bit closer all of my hats are double lined 
I don't mess around with that single line stuff. It's just, to me, it's not warm enough. Um, the purpose of wearing a hat, again, I make some for fashion as well, and I'm gonna be showing those. But the, the majority of my hats are made like this because I want people, to, when they buy my hats, I want people to wear them and I want them to be able to stay warm. Um, that's the whole purpose, while, while wearing a good looking hat as well. But let's get a little bit closer on the color. As you can see, it's, it's a heathered gray. Nothing crazy, nothing special. So if you're looking for a heathered gray hat that's made out of fine superwash merino wool, I will have this posted within the next week or two. It's February 26th as of this video recording. So it should be up by March 5th or 6th. Um, yeah. So there you go. If you or somebody you know looking for a gray hat, we will have it. So there's going to be a link in the description that you guys can check out my shop. Make sure you like, follow, and subscribe. Should you want to continue to talk about hats, see what I'm working on, and maybe have a conversation about yarn. And one final touch, Plymouth Yarn going forward is, it, it meets my standards uh, to be in my shop. Plymouth Yarn, and they've got a, a bunch of different um, lines. Plymouth Yarn is going to be going forward one of the major brands that I will consistently carry in my shop. Um, anybody out there that's looking for a good yarn, um, these guys right here. I highly recommend these guys for just um, a good, high quality, easily accessible yarn. And I say easily accessible because for me at least, I can walk a couple minutes down the street and it's right there um i have not seen this at michael's i have not seen it at joann's you might have to go to the smaller mom and pop places to be able to find this so yeah that's all i've got signing off thanks for watching